Hey YouTube, how you doing? Kevin here. <coughs> Excuse me. It uh, had just poured out. Sky opened up and now it's nice and uh, blue out here. And I figured I'd, um, looking at my bike, and I figured I'd take a little walk through. This here is a 1992 Yamaha Virago. This was an XV750, but I put the 1100 motor on it. And when you do this type of change, you got to change your entire harness module. You got to add the fuel pump, the secondary fuel tank, and the switches underneath. And there's just a whole lot that goes on to it. And this is dual fuel tank. Um, this bike right here was actually gray when I got it. And um, I actually rescued this from a junkyard down in Plastow. And um, I put a lot of work into it. And it's made up of parts of different gears, makes and models. Um, for instance, the spoke wheels are off of a 1987 XV700, and I put this off of, an, um, I don't remember what year this was, or this chrome piece, this bridge piece right here, but these are off two different year bikes because the one that was with this fender was the, the aluminum color one. I put the extra driving lights on there. Um, I'm going to be changing them around a little bit. I put clear lenses on there. Um, what else can I show you? In the back, I put the clear lenses on the back as well with the LED. The whole back panel is all LED lights. It's pretty cool. And I got the rack on the back there. It's got a lot of different features. It's got the um, the forward pegs and all that. And, of course, I got my troll bell right down below. My brother gave me. And um, it's got the speakers on the handlebars right there, you can see. Got the little adapter, it's got the USB port in there and a cigarette lighter. And of course the GPS holder and the stereo. The stereo was actually 16 bucks, not including the speakers. Um, I got this off of eBay. This is the cheapest little POS radio you can possibly get and I love it. And I'm going to tell you why I love it. Because you open up this little button right here, this little rubber plug. And you can plug your cell phone into it or your, um, um, what do you call it there, your XM um, satellite radio and you can just put your uh, antenna I got the little clip on the on the thing here for the antenna and um, all day tunes love it and I, I put the tank bib on there I like the tank bib because I can put my phone right inside here and run the cord up plug it in there and, and power right here the uh, you might notice the handlebars are a little different these are um, Yamaha handlebars these bars are off of an XS um, we call it the XS850 uh, Yamaha. And then they, they fit on there perfectly. I put the leather on the uh, hand grips. No tassels. I'm not into that whole silly shit. Um, and I've got you can see the seat. That's the factory seat. Just as I got it. And I put a little leather bag in the front. I like leather, but not too, too much. Um, I do have to do some cleaning to it. It's got an aftermarket exhaust. Um, needs to be cleaned up a little bit. That's how I got it. I, I put it on there. I thought it sounded pretty well. Um, I did an air filter modification to this. And I am running the, um, the 125 jets in both cobs. On these, um, bikes, you're supposed to run a smaller jet in the back carburetor and a bigger jet in the front cob and there's a couple reasons for that um, one in particular is the exhaust pipe diameter in the front is different from the diameter in the back not the case with this particular exhaust system this is a matched system so I had to run um, 125s in both in both cobs so I did that and I also did a um, air filter modification to this which I am going to show you how to do um, in probably my next one of my next videos. Um, but I want to touch base with a couple things. These are aftermarket. Oh, fingers getting in the picture there. You might notice the side covers, the chrome. Um, the original ones, one of them always blows off. So I just put a brand new battery in this um, a couple months ago, and I keep forgetting to do it. But I got to put a zip tie. Let me show you guys a little trick. These are just pushed on. There's no bolts or nothing that holds them on. What I normally do, and I'll show you on the other side because I did it to the other side. I drill a hole. I don't think you see that hole. 
Let's see if we can get a better picture of right there. See that hole? I drill a quarter inch hole and then I go around this pole right here with a black zip tie. And you won't notice a zip tie unless someone says something about it. Um, like unless I point it out. But um, I do that so that that side cover, if it does come loose, it ain't gonna be smashed all over the road. So um, I did it to this one. I'll show you what they look like. Right there. You see it? No? Good. That means I did a good job. Okay. See? There's she right there. And the zip tie comes right through. And you don't notice it unless someone says anything about it. And if these fall off, they'll just rattle. But you'll have your side covers. You won't have to um, move them. I left the emissions all hooked up because, well, they work just fine. Why mess with them? Why take it all off? Um, there's people who take these off and make toolboxes out of them. That's pretty cool. Um, but I don't... I don't have any of that, so and it's got the, uh, the forward controls. It's very nice when you're on this bike. It's a very comfortable bike, and um, this is a Yamaha Virago XV 1100 now. And you might notice I put the chrome fender. It's got the older style tail light. This is just a little differently shaped than the one that was on there. Same lens, different shaped housing, um, just so it can I can keep the chrome fender. Because as you can see, the only colors on this bike are chrome and black. So let's see here. There's some of the keys to different bikes. The, um, what do you call it there? I have to change the rubber on the fuel pump. It is loud. So I apologize for the loudness of my pump. It's because I don't have the proper rubber mount on it. And I have to do that. I have it, I just haven't put it on yet. So it's going to be loud. It, it quiets down. Look at that. That's loud. But it, it, it stops. Right? And check it out. All my lights come on. And I'm going to show you what I did next. See the, the back of the brake? Pretty neat, huh? I have, I, I have this, in, um, our, this reflector right here. I have that in an LED light, and I also have these in LED lights. I have to put them on. Uh, so, just a couple of things. Just go lit up while the candles are lit. Bike's got 15,000. 315. Not on that motor though. I think that motor's got more like 18, but that sounds really nice. Listen to that. Her. My beast. Well, anyway, I want to talk to you guys about these tail lights in a second. If you have a Virago, your two back lights do not illuminate when the bike is running. They only illuminate on most bikes. 90% um, of the bikes out there, the Hondas, the Yamahas, Suzuki's, Harleys, all those, they do not illuminate when the bike is um, on. They only come on when you turn the um, directionals on. I like lights on a bike because, especially at night, chrome is a reflector. It looks sexy during the day, but it technically it's a reflector at night. And if you have your lights lit up at night, that just means they can see you more. How did I get those to light up? Because normally these are only one filament. These take the 1156 bulbs, not on this bike. These are 1157 bulbs in here, double filament. Because what I did was I took a set of front directionals, grabbed an extra set, and I mounted them in the back. Then I took the regular light wire and connected the two light wires together. Boom, boom, bridging right straight across. And then the light wire is hooked up to the tail light on the light side. So when I hit the brake, they do not get brighter. They just stay on. They're on the light wire. 
not on the brake wire. And then when I turn my directionals on, they will that it'll stay on low and then it'll blink on the high beam part of it. And that's how they are, just like the front. And that's all I did. So I got that little added safety I thought was pretty cool. I went with the chrome because I didn't want the orange. You know, the orange just looked stupid on here. So I put the orange bulb inside here. I did not go LEDs on my lights. The only thing that has LED is the uh, brake light. And the whole, it's like a big circuit board. That whole piece is a, um, what do you call it, the LED. And of course it lights up underneath as well. So, um, with the regular bulbs. There's two plugs. There's one plug for one side and one for your brake light. And then this reflected down bottoms off of a Kawasaki. I just want some reflection back there. And I'm going to put the, um, the LED reflectors in the back and in the front. This is a dual tank. Holds about five gallons. And this tank, and then there's another tank underneath that side cover right there. And then the fuel pump's on the opposite side. So this is my 92 Yamaha Virago, made up of many, many, many different years, different parts and pieces. Um, I got the spoke wheels on it because I thought it would look better than the mags. The mags are just faded aluminum. And um, different things I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be putting custom crash bars on the front and a crash bar on the back for the, the bag there. It's got the, the nice um, saddlebag holders so they don't go into the rims. The saddlebags were a gift from my brother-in-law and sister-in-law. And, uh, yeah, she's a nice bike. Runs really strong, very powerful. And I did the uh, Thunder Slide kit on it. Uh, basically, I'm drawing out. Oh, that's another video. I'm not even getting to that. And I got to I gotta do the gasket. I hooked it the other day, and I pulled it up. So I got to redo the gasket on that air filter assembly. But I am going to pull that air filter assembly off. I have I, I, I deal with a lot of Viragos. So I'm going to be doing a um, an airbox modification because you can't buy an airbox for this thing. They don't make them. They're kind of stupid because it uses the frame as an air channel. So I'm going to show you how to modify your airbox to get more flow through your airbox on your Yamaha Virago. And you can do this to basically any airbox as long as you're careful. And um, I'm going to teach you guys how to do that, how I did it. And um, it's going to be pretty cool. So, as you can see, got my American flag on there, and my cross. God we trust. America. America. And that's pretty much it. That's for my Yamaha Virago. Um, she starts off without the choke. I never really, I never need the choke unless it's a cool fall day. It's the only time it really needs the choke. She features dual disc brakes in the front. It has air suspension. And a lot of people don't know about these because they have these caps on here. I don't know if you can see this cap or not, but I probably won't be able to take it off if I put on it tight. Because sometimes I don't know my own strength. But underneath this cap right here, you unscrew this cap, and there's an air chuck underneath it where you can fill it up from. And uh, let's see, what else can I tell you about it? I put the rocking horses on there to clean up the frame. I thought it would look pretty cool. I like, I'm into chrome, so I like chrome stuff. And here's a modification right here that was done um, to this box. These right here, these covers are only held on with that one screw. This one was broken. So what they did, and it was not me, I don't know who did it, but it was very, very clever. They took a piece of aluminum, they bent it into a uh, 90, and came all the way to the length of it. And then they riveted on there with two rivets. And now that thing is on there solid. But, however, I think that's the reason why it's making that fuel pump noise. Because if I take that cover off, it's nice and quiet. So, I'm going to try changing the rubber mount and all that. And, uh, yep, so that's pretty much it. I'm going to be doing videos on storage of video on bikes. See how plain it is. plain this motor is. This motor right here came from the junkyard as well. Whole bike, another bike did. Now, the 750 I took off this was actually a good running bike. I just had the opportunity to uh, mess around with it one uh, summer. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to put the 1100 on there and I have to worry about buying another bike. And the bike had these nice, awesome um, forward controls, which are very slick. I love them. It had the mufflers on it. It had all kinds of accessories on that bike. 
This is the Yamaha Virago Special Tank. Um, I put that on there. I just thought the black would look much better than the solar or gray. It was like a, like a gray, but the um, the clear coat was coming off. This tank is actually in excellent condition. No dents. Um, and all the chrome is actually in, in really good shape. So, but yeah, this is, and it's got the big uh, AGM battery in it. I had to take off, there's a spacer in it. You can take that out and put a bigger battery. I did all that. And she's just a real fun bike to ride. Really, really, really comfortable. Um, she's got the vibration dampers inside the handlebars. Not a perfect bike, but she, uh, she sounds good. And I took this on the Andy Blacksmith Ride for Life um, from Rock 101, Greg in the Morning Buzz. Real awesome. Me and my brother got to hang out and do that. That was cool. Um, we did it last year, the first annual. This is the second annual one, and uh, we got to do it again. We're going to make it a yearly thing. And it's for Donate Life. And if you guys don't have a chance to uh, do that, um, when you go redo re, uh, your license, you can just click on Organ Donor. And I want to talk to you guys real quick about the organ donation thing. A lot of people say, oh, no, they just, if you're down, they just let you die and they, they harvest your uh, organs. It's not like that. They do everything in their power to keep you alive. And, your fam you know, even though you sign up for the organ donation thing, um, ultimately, you know, when you pass, when you are not able to be revived or resuscitated, um, at that point, then they take your organs. And um, your life, when your life comes to an end, you can help many of other people's lives continue and that is a blessing upon blessings. And that is why I did that. Because when I'm up there with God, and we're hanging out, talking about our bikes, I don't want to be worrying about what happened with my parts and pieces if they're in the ground going to, you know, doing nothing but rotten. Um, when I can be helping someone else out. Because I'm going to be partying hard, and I sure as hell don't need them. So, let someone who can use them here on Earth, use them. So, like I said, you can't take them with you when you're gone, right? So you might as well donate them and let them uh, let them use them. So, and that's a big thing. If you can if you can help someone, if you can help someone else live um, from stuff that you're not using, that's the way to go. That's a legacy right there. Keep that in mind. That's your legacy. So, um, definitely do that. But uh, I'm also going to stress, you don't need to push that along. Wear your helmet. And the proper riding gear. So, be safe out there when you're on these things. These things are monsters, but you know what? You could be driving for 40 years, okay? I, I've been on the, uh, I've been driving now for, well, on the road legally, um, 24 years. Uh, 24, 26 years. But, um, I've been riding dirt bikes prior to that. I'm not worried about me. I'm worried about that person who runs that stoplight and hits me. So, wear your helmet. Don't be dumb. So, this is, uh, I figured I'd do a walk around on my Yamaha Virago, show it off, because uh, it's in a couple of videos just looking at it. So I figured I'd start up and let you guys hear it. And um, they're fun bikes, they're great bikes. And, um, yeah, I mean, not really much more I can tell you. I do have a ton of parts for these things. Um, I literally have totes and totes and totes of parts. So if something breaks on my bike, I can just go out there and fix it. But if you have a Yamaha Virago, doesn't matter what year, and you have a question on switches, sensors, or whatever it is, maybe, um, or what I did to get this bike to this condition, um, by all means, please comment, um, you know, chat with me about it, my, um, open chat, and remember, I have a matching exhaust pipe, that's how come I'm using the same jets, and I also did the air filter modification, so I get more air going in the motor and more air coming out, and that's how I get that beautiful sound, so... Um, there is no cam in this. This engine is not bored out. Um, it's not stroked. They do make stroker kits and boring kits and everything else for these. This is not done. Um, will it get done? Eh, maybe sometime in the next year or two. Because um, I really do like this bike. It is awesome. But it's not on the uh, it's not on the cards at the moment. This bike runs perfect. And why mess with something? <clears throat> why mess with something that's perfect? So. Um, as always, please subscribe, please like my videos, share them, and if you have any questions, please by all means comment if you need help with your bike, um, 
hit me up. I can uh, tell you what I use the tools and give you some advice of what I did and how I did it. The um, tail light can be done to any bike. And if you need help with that, I can show you how to do that or, or teach you how to do that. I could even do a video on them on how to wire it. So that's what I'm here for. I'm here for help, assistance, and whatever else I can do to help you out. So by all means, please subscribe and um, comment and like my videos. Thank you.